I'll give you two options to produce a product. In one scenario, you have to think of the product, you have to figure out the manufacturing process, you have to get access to the manufacturing equipment, which might be thousands or hundreds of thousands or even millions of dollars. You have to try this out and figure out how these machines work. And then maybe you'll get a product. Option two, you think of a product, you press print, and you get a version of the product that you can either say is good, or maybe you just need to re-engineer and redesign. We believe that Project Diamond represents a path for those with imagination and those with initiative to get into manufacturing without having the downside risk. Project Diamond stands for Distributed Independent Agile Manufacturing on Demand. If you remember the early days of the pandemic, then it was hard to source PPE. So Oakland County came to us and they said, hey, we've got this opportunity to allocate you know, some of our CARES funding to do something that's transformational. We gave away 300 3D printers and we said, use these as if they were your own. And then if we call upon you, you'll print PPE on them. And that could be ventilator parts, face shields, what have you. Phase two now builds upon that success and it's going to move from an emergency response system to something that's really a commercial network with concepts like a peer-to-peer -peer secure marketplace and the mechanism for organizations to essentially build their own IP and distribute it over the network to be printed by other members of the network. Project Diamond Phase 2 is designed to have a unified experience to any participant. And basically the components are as follows. The first thing is you get a 12 week immersive program where you actually understand not just about 3D printing, but an end to end process of how do I use 3D printing to conceive a product from scratch, identify opportunities, and then build a business around it with a printer grant. So you get a printer to actually start using this in your own facility. And then beyond that, we have the Digital Transformation Center that we've built in Auburn Hills, where you can actually now go to a place that has substantially higher volume printers, higher cost printers, where you can take some of those designs that you have verified and validated in your own facility and then build them at scale. An end-to-end -end business solution, thinking 3D so that I can actually make money using 3D printing and change my business fundamentally. It's very hard to get into manufacturing, but that's not true with something like Project Diamond. If you can conceive of the product in CAD, and if you're part of Project Diamond, if you have your printer, you can start playing in this world. And oh, by the way, very quickly you have access to equipment. If you can conceive a product, you can make it happen. It's much easier to send a digital file than a physical product and have it produced locally. I'm not held hostage to transportation, logistics, shipping. If you're a plant manager and you want to mitigate your supply chain risk, you have to pay attention to geopolitical events like you never had to do before. Yeah, but if I just transfer a digital file and if I print it locally, then I'm good. What we've conceived Project Diamond Phase 2 to be is a mechanism for and a resource for traditional manufacturers who want to get into advanced manufacturing. But it's also a resource for someone who might have had a passion for manufacturing but just didn't know how because of the traditional barriers to entry. But what we learn from Project Diamond can be shared. And as neighborhood businesses, which is what Project Diamond companies are, that prosperity stays in the community. And that's what Project Diamond Phase 2 is all about. Get involved by going to projectdiamond.org and apply today.